Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Viper 120 Synergic for gas shielded MIG welding. Gas shielded welding provides higher quality welds and is more suited towards welding indoors. In order to weld with gas, you'll need a spool of mild steel wire, argon CO2 gas mix and argon regulator. You will also need some protective gear including a welding helmet, MIG gloves and a welding jacket. Step 1. Polarity after connecting your machine up to a 10 amp power point, the first step is ensuring that your earth clamp and polarity cable are plugged into the correct polarity connections. For gas shielded MIG, insert the earth clamp into the negative socket and the polarity cable into the positive socket. Step 2. Gas connection. The next step requires connecting the Viper 120 Synergic up to the bottle of gas. Screw the argon regulator into the gas bottle, attach the gas hose tightly to the regulator Connect the other end of the hose to the gas inlet on the back of the machine. Set the gas flow on the regulator to about 10 litres a minute. Step 3. Rollers Gas shielded welding wire requires a V-groove drive roller. To install the roller, flip back the wire feeder lever to release the tension on the roller. Remove the retaining cap, then simply lift the roller and retaining cap out of the machine. Insert the desired roller on the shaft place the retaining cap over the roller and tighten. Step 4. Installing the wire. Once the roller is in place, it's now time to set up the wire. Unscrew the spool holder nut, place the spool of wire onto the spool holder, then replace and tighten the spool retaining nut. Feed the wire over the dry roller and into the inlet guide tube. Push the wire through approximately 150mm Lock down the top pressure roller and apply a medium amount of pressure using the tension adjustment knob. Step 5. Feeding the wire. With the wire installed, we now need to feed it through the torch. Remove the gas nozzle and contact tip from the front end of the torch. Press and hold the torch trigger to begin feeding the wire through the torch cable and torch head. Once the wire has fed through, fit the correct size contact tip and securely tighten. For this video, we're using a 0.8mm contact tip for a 0.8mm wire. Fit the gas nozzle, cut the excess wire and now the machine is ready to start welding. Step 6. MIG welding. To start off, select the wire size you're using. The next step is to just adjust the power knob to suit your welding material thickness. A thicker piece will require a higher setting and thin materials will require a lower setting. Connect the earth clamp to the workpiece and you're ready to begin welding. Simply line up the torch with the joint, pull the trigger to initiate the weld cycle. When using gas shielded wire, you need to push the torch along the joint. This ensures adequate gas coverage to protect the weld from contamination. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or if there is anything else you would like to know, drop us a comment and we'll get back to you.